Welcome to the Silicon Fox podcast, where we explore the habits and stories of high performers. Join us as we dive into their journeys, analyze live blood tests, and break down the science behind key biomarkers to help you optimize your health. I'm your host, Mitchell Eschner, an ex-pro soccer player, a current sponsored hybrid athlete, a health tech founder, and a longevity enthusiast. Today, we're diving into one of the most misunderstood yet profoundly important compounds in human health, vitamin D. Now, if you're thinking bones and sunlight, you're technically right, but that's just the surface. Vitamin D is often referred to as more of a hormone than a vitamin. Today, we'll cover how vitamin D controls over a thousand genes, affects your immune system, your mental clarity, athletic performance, and might even influence how long you live. Let's start with a key shift in thinking. Vitamin D isn't just a simple vitamin. It acts more like a hormone. In fact, it's a type of hormone called a secosteroid, which puts it in the same family of hormones like estrogen and testosterone. Like those hormones, vitamin D is made from cholesterol and produced naturally by your body, mainly when your skin is exposed to sunlight, specifically UVB rays. When doctors test your vitamin D levels, they're usually looking at a form called 25-hydroxyvitamin D, but that's just a storage form. To actually do its job in the body, it needs to be converted first in the liver, then in the kidneys, into its active form, known as 125-diohydroxyvitamin D. Once activated, vitamin D travels through the body and binds to special receptors found in almost every tissue and organ. These receptors are called vitamin D receptors, or VDRs, and when vitamin D connects it with them, it can turn certain genes on or off. This gives it power to influence more than 2,000 genes, about 10% of your entire genetic code. So calling it just a nutrient doesn't really do it justice. It's more like a molecular control system that helps manage inflammation, metabolism, and immune system. That's why vitamin D deficiency isn't just about bone health. It's actually a hormonal imbalance that can disrupt how your body functions on a much deeper level. Vitamin D plays a smart and balanced role in the immune system. It strengthens our innate immunity, the body's quick first response to fight off viruses and bacteria, while also keeping parts of the longer-term adaptive immune system in check. That second system is responsible for building immunity over time, but if it gets too aggressive, it can mistakenly attack the body's own tissue, leading to autoimmune diseases. Vitamin D helps manage this delicate balance, supporting strong defense without letting the immune system turn on itself. When levels of vitamin D are low, this balance can break down. Research has linked low vitamin D to a high risk of autoimmune conditions like rheumatoid arthritis, type 1 diabetes, and inflammatory bowel disease. People with low vitamin D levels also tend to have higher levels of immune system markers, like certain antibodies, that can target the thyroid and other parts of the body. You can think of vitamin D as the conductor of the immune system orchestra. When it's present in the right amount, everything stays in sync, but when it's missing, the immune system can become disorganized, whether staying stuck in an inflamed state or leaving you more open to getting sick. Are you a health coach or running a health course and looking to level up your client's experience? With Cyfox Health at-home blood test, you can deliver lab-quality blood work right to your client's door. Seamlessly ship samples back for fast and actionable results. Personalize every consult with the data that matters. Clients who complete a Cyfox test are 60% more likely to enroll in a paid program after their consult compared to those who only join a sales call. If you're ready to give your clients the edge, go to cyfoxhealth.com forward slash partner. And as a Silicon Fox podcast listener, enjoy 10% off your first bulk order. Vitamin D also plays a powerful role in your brain. There are vitamin D receptors in key areas of the brain that control memory, mood, and decision-making, such as the hippocampus, prefrontal cortex, and cerebellum. These are the same regions that help you focus, adapt, and respond to stress. Studies show that vitamin D helps protect the brain in a few important ways. It supports neuroplasticity, the brain's ability to adapt and form new connections, and neurogenesis, which is the creation of new brain cells. Both are essential for learning, memory, and emotional resilience. When vitamin D levels are too low, mental health can suffer. Large-scale studies and reviews have found that people with low vitamin D are more likely to experience depression. In fact, those who are deficient, taking vitamin D supplements can help improve mood, with some research suggesting that effect is similar to those of antidepressant medications. There's also a strong connection between vitamin D and seasonal affective disorder, or SAD, a form of depression that shows up during the darker winter months, especially in the northern regions. This makes sense, since less sunlight means less vitamin D production in the skin. Even more serious mental health conditions like schizophrenia have been linked to vitamin D deficiency. People with lower levels of vitamin D tend to show more severe symptoms. In short, when vitamin D is low, brain function and mood regulation often decline. Making sure your levels are healthy may help you protect mental sharpness and emotional well-being. In recent years, vitamin D has become a focus for elite athletes, not just to avoid injuries, but to take their performance to the next level. And there's good reason for that. Research shows that vitamin D plays a direct role in building and strengthening muscle, especially the fast twitch muscle fibers that are responsible for explosive power and speed. Supplementing with higher doses of vitamin D has been linked to gains in lean muscle mass, greater strength, and faster recovery after intense workouts. This is likely because muscle cells have vitamin D receptor, which means that vitamin can directly influence how muscles adapt and grow, not just help with calcium and bone health as many people assume. 
There's also interesting connection between vitamin D and hormones like testosterone and IGF-1, which are both important for muscle development and recovery. Men who are low in vitamin D often have lower levels of testosterone, and studies show that vitamin D supplementation can help raise those levels, potentially leading to better athletic performance. Another benefit is reducing post-exercise inflammation. After a tough workout, the body releases inflammatory markers like IL-6 and TNF-alpha, which can cause soreness and slow recovery. Adequate vitamin D helps keep this inflammation under control, allowing athletes to bounce back more quickly. While there's still debate about how vitamin D affects endurance metrics like VO2 max, it's clear that athletes with low levels are at a disadvantage, especially in high-intensity sports. Whether it's sprinting, lifting, or recovering faster, vitamin D plays a valuable role in athletic performance on multiple fronts. Now let's take a step back and look at the bigger picture, how vitamin D affects your lifespan and overall health. Large population studies have found a clear link between low vitamin D levels and higher risk of dying from any cause, especially from heart disease and infection. The relationship isn't linear, though. It forms what's called a U-shaped curve. That means an ideal range of vitamin D, if your levels are too low, your risk of illness and early death goes up. But if your levels get too high, you might not see the added benefits and could even face potential downsides. It's all about staying in that healthy middle zone. Vitamin D also helps keep your blood vessels in good shape. It improves something called endothelial function, which helps blood vessels stay flexible and support healthy blood flow. It also lowers blood pressure by turning down activity in the renin-angiotensin system, a hormone system that can raise blood pressure when overactive. That's why people with high blood pressure sometimes see improvements when they start supplementing, especially if they were deficient beforehand. During the COVID-19 pandemic, vitamin D got a lot of attention because studies suggest that it might reduce the severity of respiratory infections. But its benefits go beyond that. Vitamin D may also slow the aging process at the cellular level, it helps lower chronic inflammation, and reduce the buildup of sentient cells, older dysfunctional cells that contribute to aging and disease. Here's where things get a bit more complicated. While vitamin D has many important benefits, there's a common misconception that taking more and more is always good. That's simply not true. Earlier, I mentioned the U-shaped curve, indicating there's a too low and a too high for your vitamin D levels. Vitamin D is a fat-soluble, which means your body stores it rather than flushing out the excess like it does with water-soluble vitamins. If levels get too high, it can lead to a condition called vitamin D toxicity. This can cause dangerously high calcium levels in the blood, which may result in symptoms like fatigue, nausea, kidney stones, and in severe cases, even damage to organs. The key point to remember is that vitamin D toxicity doesn't come from sun exposure. When you get vitamin D from sunlight, your body has natural checks in place to prevent making too much. The real risk comes from taking too many supplements, which override those safeguards. That's why it's important to know your vitamin D levels before starting high-dose supplements. A simple blood test can tell you where you stand, and from there, a healthcare provider can help you find the right dose and monitor your response safely. Not everyone's body handles vitamin D the same way. How much vitamin D you make and how well you use it depends on several factors, including your genetics, skin tone, where you live, and how much time you spend in the sun. For example, people with darker skin need more sunlight to produce the same amount of vitamin D as those with lighter skin. That's because melanin, the pigment that gives skin its color, blocks some of the UVB rays needed to trigger vitamin D production. This means someone with dark skin might need much more sun exposure to maintain healthy levels. Location matters too. If you live above 40 degrees north latitude, places like New York, Boston, or much of Canada, your skin doesn't get enough UVB light during the winter to make vitamin D, no matter how much time you spend outside. Genetics also play a role. Variations in the vitamin D receptor gene can affect how well your cells respond to vitamin D. So even if two people have the same blood levels, their bodies may react to the vitamin D very differently. All of this highlights an important point. Vitamin D health isn't just about reaching a target number on a lab test. It's about how well your body actually uses it. That's why personalized testing and guidance are so important. What works for one person might not be enough for someone else. Vitamin D is more than a supplement. It's a hormone that regulates your immune system, shapes your mood, helps build muscle, and even determines your risk of chronic disease and death. Understanding and optimizing it isn't just about preventing rickets. It's about living longer, better, and stronger. Measure your levels, adjust thoughtfully, and respect the complexity of how your body works. This isn't about channeling a miracle pill. It's about understanding one of the most foundational molecules in human health. Thank you for tuning in today. I hope you've gained some insight into this health habit. If you found this episode helpful, be sure to subscribe and share it with others who might benefit. And as always, I encourage you to take charge of your health and be proactive about your body signals. Thank you, and we'll see you next time on the Silicon Fox Podcast. Mm-hmm.